Hey, Kayla here, and my goal for today is to organize all of my books. I have already cataloged them all into an app, and there's about 500 or so books. Um, so I want to organize them so I can have an easier time finding where everything is. And let's get started. So this is kind of my main bookcase. And it's usually where I put the books I like the best. Now, I don't, I'm not going to organize these ones. I have all these shelves. Um, so these are kind of already categorized. And then this is my cozy mysteries. And like this is right here is my Buffy section and my Jenny Bonovich book. So I'm not going to be doing those. But I do want to do this one. I also have another little one to the side. Um, so I'm going to work on those. Here's the other bookshelf that I have. Those are just storage, but I use these, there's five to put books in. So I wanna clear these up too. Okay, got all my books down, and there's a lot, fill up my whole bag, and I also have a cart over here, these are my, this is my TBR cart, so I'm going to leave those there, okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to categorize, and I want like all the YA together, all the fiction together, um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm thinking that I'm going to put my nonfiction books in this area. You can see I have all of my um, cream books over here, my language books. And so I think I'm just going to leave those there and see how many of these other cubbies that I can fill with nonfiction and also maybe some of the heavier books like the Harry Potter series or uh, just something that I don't we want high up on the bookshelf. Okay, I picked up my nonfiction books and then also any other Korean books that I have lying around. And well, let's do an organize.
Okay, I'm done organizing this one. So down here I just put like any coloring books. I have some old, old journals behind my Bonica Mara CVDs. And then here I have um, just some of my soul travel books and some novels in Korean that I eventually want to read when I can understand Korean better. And here I have um, a lot of these are books that I got when I went to Korea. Like there are photo essays and dramas that I like. Um, these two books were in a drama I really liked. Totally blanking on the name, but they're um, they're really cute. Every page is like illustrations, and it's how to show. It's like about love. Oh, here we go. W, my favorite drama. Anyway, each book just has illustrations, and it'll say something in Korean, like uh, I'm not sure what, but little things like let's go grocery shopping together. Let's. These are really cute, and I started going through them and translating um, to understand it more. Anyway, and here I have some of my succulent books, and um, I put some poems in here. I have a Veronica Mars philosophy. Anyway, as you can tell, I don't read much nonfiction books, so that's why I put them over here because I usually have stuff in front of us. So. I'm going through and just picking out YA because I think that is what I have most of and it's the books I enjoy the most. And I'm going to put them down here and kind of build up. So these are all the leftover books that I have. I did not find room for them on the shelf. So let me explain what I have going here. So there's just some of my little mystery books I want to keep. I love the um, the bookend and how the book there is. If books could kill, it's literally falling on him. I just think that's awesome. <laughs> um, so up here, this is where I'm going to put all of my proper romance. And I have, this is just a random assortment of stuff up here. I have a few Jane Austen books and yeah, so that's just my random shelf. I usually have my perfumes in print, so it's going to hide most of those books. This shelf, this stack right here, these are probably some of my like favorite books I enjoy reading and rereading. And these ones are just some hardbacks of like kind of like the small mass market paperbacks, that same genre, but these ones won't fit on like my little shelves. Let me show you. Up here I have these little shelves and those big hardbacks are not gonna fit on it. So I just stuck them right here for now. Down on the shelf. This is this is kind of like my movie, like book to screen section. And then I just have some random Nicholas Sparks. Um, because I just I liked it better when they're together. And down here is just some YA. Uh, some of my favorites are right here. I should probably put Five Feet Apart and John Green, The Fault in Our Stars up at the top, but I just kind of wanted these ones, like the YA stuff, to all just be together. And then there I have like Twilight Behind, my Buffy books, and I have Harry Potter, and I just want to show this one. It was really cool. Got that in the UK. Anyway, that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed the um, organization of my books. It's not perfect, but it is good enough for me. It's better than what I had, and I hope that you have fun organizing your own collection. Bye. Totally changed my mind. I realized I just put all my favorites in the same spot, so it's easier to uh, remember and make recommendations.